Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we will be cooking steamed sesame oil chicken. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to marinate our chicken wings. I have with me over here 520 grams of fresh chicken wings cut into halves like this. We'll be adding in the stem of a spring onion, only utilizing the white part now and slice into half like this, put it in. Also add in young ginger, size of a thumb, julienne thinly like this, add them in. Two cloves of garlic, chopped up, put them into. Add in two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of Chinese Shaoxing wine, for our Muslim friends, you do not have to add this. To balance up the taste, I'll be adding in half a teaspoon of sugar. We'll mix this up well. This is a very easy dish to cook, inspired by Florence Lim, who is a member of our Spice and Pans Facebook group. If you're not a member, do join us. You'll be inspired by the many beautiful recipes being shared there. Once you have mixed this up well, we'll add in two tablespoons of corn flour. Mix them up again. The corn flour is there to make the chicken very tender. This is actually a very essential step for steaming protein to lock the juice in. Finally, we'll add in two tablespoons of sesame oil. Now we can make it into a bigger batch and whenever you want to eat, just take out the quantity that you need and steam it. One thing to remember is before you steam this, make sure you rest the chicken to room temperature for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay, now that this is done, we'll marinate this for at least an hour before we steam this. I'll see you back in a while. We'll steam our chicken now. I've rested the chicken at room temperature for 20 minutes before I steam them. Make sure that your water is boiling. I'm boiling the water at medium heat or medium high, no problem. Make sure it's actually boiling. I'll add in also some oof berries. This will make it look so pretty. Put the lid back on. And we'll steam this for 10 to 12 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 10 minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, beautiful. Now we have to check whether this is cooked already or not. I'll show you how we do it. Take a knife, at the thickest part of the drumlet, we just poke this in and see whether there's any blood oozing out or not. If there's no blood oozing out, that means this is cooked. Beautiful. Spread a little bit of spring onion on top and it's time to have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. It smells really good. I'll just give this a taste. Mm. Very tender. It has a very light ginger fragrance inside here. Really, really nice. And the sesame oil really makes this dish stand out. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Use my hand.